One of the most popular features on streams nowadays is to have live time information on the screen for your viewers to see. Uh, not only does this increase interaction, but it also gives people a little bit of a reward uh, to display their follows and cheers and donations on screen. It gives them a little bit more incentive to get involved in the stream. Now, the question is, how do we do that in OBS Studio? Well, there's one very simple application that you need to download and we can then integrate with OBS Studio to get this information on screen. Just to clarify, this information could be anything from weekly followers to last donator, top cheerer for the month, any of that sort of interactive uh, information and data we can get on screen live. Now, obviously you could do this yourself manually. We could add a text source, we could press OK, and we could go uh, most recent donator, uh, let's go, I don't know, uh, Jam Squad. And Jam Squad has donated like $20. But this is going to take absolutely ages if you try to do this manually every time somebody donates. So what Stream Labels does is it automates the entire process for you. The application that you're going to download gets in direct connection, direct contact with your streaming platform and gathers all that information for you so that you don't have to. So it's very, very useful. Now, as I said, we do need to download an external application for this to happen. So what we need to do is go to your web browser and go to streamlabs.com uh, forward slash dashboard forward slash stream labels. Log in with your streaming account if you haven't done so already on Streamlabs and then go to the stream labels page and choose your operating system to download the software. Obviously, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click Windows and it's going to download the software as you would any other software. Once that software is installed, you're obviously going to start up the application. Biggest advice from me, by the way, when you're using Streamlabs desktop or stream labels is always right click and run as administrator. I know I've said this in tutorials before, but definitely, definitely do that because it gives your stream labs and stream labels more permissions and more uh, control of your PC, which is a good thing in this case. You're obviously going to need to log into Streamlabs, so I'm going to carry this over to the other screen so you can't see my login details. I'm going to log in, and we are logged into Streamlabels. There we go. Choose output directory. I'm now going to choose where the text files go with all this information. I'm just going to choose my documents, and I'm going to choose Stream Labels. There we go. And that's basically the setup all done. Now you'll see that it's showing us the most recent events on our channel. This particular channel that I'm logged into right now is not very active, so there's not a ton of events, uh, but there has been a little bit of activity over the last couple of days with some evergreen content. Let's talk about the stream labels interface. So what do we have here? If we go to the top bar, the top toolbar of this application, you'll see that we have settings. And in here, we can obviously change all of the settings of each different type of information. So what does that mean? Let's say I want the information on OBS Studio to show my most recent donator. In this drop-down menu in the top left-hand corner of the window, we're going to open it up and we're going to look for donations, donations, donations. There's Super Chatter, by the way. Super Chatters and donators are different. Super Chatters are donations through the YouTube platform, through the Super Chat button, and donators are donators directly into Streamlabs if you're using the Streamlabs donation link. So for this case, I'm going to use donations rather than Super Chat. So let's have a look. We've got subscribers monthly tips donators here we go most recent donator this is the information i want so i'm going to select that in the drop down menu then we'll see what the message template is now this basically shows us how it's going to look on our stream when we select most recent donator at the moment you can see it's going to have the name of the donator and their amount and you can preview this underneath so it says fish sticks 491 I can change this. I can put Fistix donated and then 499. And you can change that message to however you want. Um, let's change it to something very unique so that you guys can see how it works. Fistix threw us 499. So he's throwing us 499. Uh, you can also change the zoom level of the text. You can also change the user message zoom level. We're going to leave that alone for now. And we're going to click save. You see in the top right hand corner here, save. 
That has saved those visual changes to most recent donator. If you want to change any of the other ones, so most recent super chatter, we'll also have to do the same here. Through us a super chat of... So you'll see it says, Fish Sticks lol threw us a super chat of 4 dollars I'm going to save that. Now when I choose most recent super chatter, it will come up with that message instead. Let's go cancel so we go back to the main menu. Change output directory. Now we did that when we started the application. I chose my documents and a stream labels folder to keep these text files in. So if you do lose the output directory, you can change that from here. Restart session basically restarts your, uh, what it does when you open stream labels, as soon as you open it, a session starts. And what you can do is you can get the most or, or the top donator for that session. So if you want to start a completely new session, a completely new stream session, you just click restart session and it will start collecting data from that moment where you click that button. And then obviously log out. It will log you out of your streaming platform. You don't want to do that. Right. How do we now input this into OBS Studio? So we changed the most recent donator to name through us a couple of dollars. Now what I want to do is I want to have that text update live on my OBS studio. What we need to add is a text file. So I'm going to go to plus down here in my sources and I'm going to go to text GDI. I'm going to call it uh, most recent donator. Okay. And what we want to do, we want to read from file we want to read from one of those text files let me open streamlabs uh, stream labels real quickly what happens when we change these settings here if we go to most recent donator where is it where is it where is it it's a little bit nearer the top most recent donator you see this here it saves all of this information into a text file in that directory that we chose so in this case the text file is called most recent donator with underscores in between dot text and what I want to do in OBS Studio is click read from file and then browse. And then what I've done here is I've navigated to my documents and the stream labels directory that we chose. And all I have to do is find that text file. So I'll go over to stream labels again. Just double check. It's most underscore recent underscore donator dot text. So I need to find that in this folder in this director uh, directory there we go most underscore recent underscore do donator it's a text document so that's the one i'm going to click open and there we go it has the name of a donator and the message we chose through us ten dollars and i can just take that and i can put it into the bottom left hand corner of our stream now, if somebody sends us a new donation, this will change to the newest donation. It will update automatically because that text file will be automatically changed and updated by stream labels, which is a really, really powerful tool and very useful for you as a streamer. Now, let's say I want to change that through us because it doesn't really make sense. Nobody throws money at you. I'm just going to go back to my stream labels. I'm going to go to, I'm, let's say I'm in the main menu so we can start from scratch. I'm in the main menu. I want to change the text for my most recent donator. I just go settings. Uh, I change this to most recent donator. It's already there for me because we just used it. And I'm going to change through us to donated. Fishsticks lol donated 499. Save settings. And then once that's gone, we're going to click cancel. Go to OBS. And we're going to restart this source now it does take some time there you go though you saw when i hid and closed the source it found the new text so you might need to hide and close it i think it checks every minute for new changes so it is a little bit delayed sometimes but it does automatically update now i'm going to take that and i'm going to drag it into the bottom here and what you'll find people do is they usually turn this into a ticker and what that means is that we're going to need some space at the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the extents of the source. So we're going to make the height about 300 here. And we're going to make the width about far. Let's make it about 2000. Where's that putting us on the... So you see it's not as big as the box. I want it a little bit larger than the little box at the bottom there that we're putting it into. So I'm going to go 2,500. 
And we're going to go 2,800 or 2,700. There we go. It's getting larger. What I want is to create a little bit of space at the end of the text. So I'm going to go 2,900. There we go. We've got quite a lot of space at the end of the text there. I'm going to resize it to be a little bit smaller. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the Alt key and drag in the right-hand side of that box. So it fits within the extents. Let's move it to the left a little bit. And you'll see, okay, there's only a tiny bit of the message available there. But what we can do now is we can add a filter to that. We're going to go plus, scroll, and add some horizontal speed. And suddenly, the message becomes clear. That space at the end allows for space between the start and the end of the scroll so that you can efficiently read the message. And that will continue to scroll throughout your stream. I can make it a little bit smaller, in fact, because the text is so large and extend that right hand side out a little bit. There we go. And suddenly you've got a lovely looking scroller with your stream labels information. Let's try another one, shall we? So that we know the process in and out perfectly. So I'm going to go over to stream labels. Now, this time what I want is the most recent subscriber on my stream. That's the information I want on OBS Studio. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to this drop down menu again, and I'm going to try and find most recent subscriber. There's monthly tips, subscribers, most recent subscriber. So at the moment, it just says name. So it's just going to come up with their name, which is kind of weird and it doesn't really make much sense. So I'm going to just put name subscribed and then an exclamation mark. And then maybe let's, let's go thank you. Let's be kind. Everyone loves a thank you, right? Everyone loves manners. And we know the text file is called most recent YouTube subscriber text. We're going to save those settings. And we're going to cancel. By the way, you do not need to have stream labels open for your OBS studio to read those text files. So if I'm happy with all of these settings now, I can actually close stream labels. So I've closed that. Now I want that information, the most recent subscriber information on my stream. So I'm going to go plus. I'm going to go to text GDI. I'm going to go most recent subscriber. So I know what that source is and what it does later on going to go read from file again browse you see we're in this pc documents stream labels and this time i need to find most recent subscriber there it is most recent subscriber it's a text document perfect open and there we go it's got jelly duck 100 is our most recent subscriber now why has it not come up with that new text that we put in that is fairly strange. Should we go and troubleshoot that, shall we? Maybe stream labels didn't have the time to update before I close it. Let's open stream labels. Because it should say Jelly Duck 100 subscribed. Thank you, right? Let's take a double check. So we're going to go back to OBS, see if it updated. It did not. So let's go settings. Most recent subscriber. <laughs> there he is. It still says subscribed. Thank you. And the preview is not showing that, is it? There we go. Fish sticks, lol, subscribed, thank you. Let's press save settings and make sure we got the text file right. Most recent YouTube subscriber.txt, save settings. And then cancel. Let's go back to OBS Studio. Now, why is that not coming up with that? Most recent subscriber.txt. Now, it should be coming up with the text. It could be that it's on a little bit of a delay and that text is not popping up for a certain reason. Uh, let's just double check. Most recent YouTube subscriber. Most recent YouTube subscriber. Okay. Subscriber is for Twitch. Subscriber is for Twitch. That is a, it, absolutely my problem. If you're looking for your Twitch subscriber, then choose most recent subscriber. If you're looking for your most recent YouTube subscriber, then we want to use YouTube subscriber. There we go, guys. And suddenly that message comes up. So some of these terms change around based on the platform that you're using. Remember, Twitch's memberships are called subs and YouTube's subs are called memberships and then their subs are called... So you need to be aware of those text differences, those text... Uh, changes between the two platforms. Let's resize this so that it's the same as the Izzy Nub one. Beautiful. We're going to put this in the bottom right hand corner. Obviously, I want some space at the end of the text as well. So we're going to go ahead and change those out. Uh, sorry, the custom text extents. I think it was 300 for uh, height. Let's have a look. 
300. Yep. And the width was 2,700. Nope, we need a little bit more. 2,900. And let's give it a little bit more. 3,100. Maybe a little bit more. 3,300. And remember, we're going to drag the side in of that square using Alt. And then we're going to simply... I'm going to steal the filter from uh, the recent donator. So I'm going to right-click and go to Filters. I'm going to right click on scroll and click copy. Then I'm going to go to our most recent subscriber, right click filters, and then right click and paste. And that will have exactly the same filter on, exactly the same scroll as the donator. Let's make this a little bit wider. There we go. Beautiful. And suddenly we've got two beautiful stream labels filtered and scrolling across our screen. Now you can do this for any of the information that's available inside the stream labels app. So if we go in here, we have a look at the settings one more time. There is so many things here that you can show your viewers on your stream top donators top donations donation amounts donation goals monthly tips now when we look at sessions uh where is session 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 sessions let me try and find an example of this where is sessions donation goal session recent donator so you can determine when and where your sessions start so if i put on session recent donator and I restart session, it will only show the information from when you clicked restart session. Only donators after you've clicked that button will show up in your alerts. This is great if you have, uh, you know, loads of donators and you only want to show the donators from your current stream. There we go, guys. That is Stream Labels. It's an extremely powerful tool and it helps you save so much time when putting information into your stream for your viewers to see. Have fun with it and we wish you the best of luck using Stream Labels in your streams.